Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do another daily reading. We are just going to see what comes up. I don't know, maybe I should turn that light back on. I feel like the light needed to be turned off, though. It's time to flip the switch by the looks of things. Time to clear out. It's time to cleanse. To remove all negative energies. To cut the cords of the past. To say goodbye. To protect. It's time to change. It's time for a change. It's time to take that next step. It's time to bring balance back to my life. No more. No more investing. No more being dissatisfied. No more being unrealistic. There's no more growth. It's time to take action. It's time to find that discipline. To put myself first. And to do what's right for me. Union. Partnership. Somebody has been holding on to some heavy baggage, carrying a heavy weight, overwhelmed, overwhelmed with some sort of codependency, going back and forth, not choosing to value themselves. Holding on to something that brought chaos and disorder into their life. It's time to drop that unrealistic situation. It is not worth it anymore. It's not worth it. Mm. Somebody has been unable to shed not finding their resources, not finding their power, giving their power away to a union, a partnership, instead of themselves. There is not one person in this world that completes you. You complete you. You complete you. Somebody has been giving their power away to another person. It's time to block, block, sever ties, don't communicate, protect your energy, let it go, do not allow yourself to be manipulated and taken advantage of by another person. Somebody is blocking a true love connection. They are blocking a love connection by holding on to something, by staying connected to something, 
that doesn't serve them, that has caused them so much chaos in their life. It's time to make a decision and stick to it. The past. Somebody has been clinging to the memories of the past. It's time to take that sword and sever those ties with the past. The past is the past. You need to block the past. Immediately. Right now. Somebody keeps looking back and every time they look back, they exchange energy. They exchange the energy when they look back. This is the Page of Swords. We have somebody here that um, is feeling conflicted. They're, they're really conflicted about and angry and upset that they were unable to force this connection. Very upset, the fist force connection. You can't force somebody to love you. You can't force anything. Take your sword and sever those ties. Stop pretending. Stop ignore, ignoring. Stop avoiding the truth. It is time to accept the truth. Stop living in denial. Somebody is living in denial. Because they don't know their worth. They don't know their value. They don't know how powerful they are. They don't know what they deserve. Somebody is avoiding. They are avoiding the truth. Why? Because they don't want to let it go. It's time to let it go. It's time to open up. Because at one time it was stable. At one time it felt really good. But now there's disorder, there's chaos, there's a loss of focus, there's anger, there's despair. Somebody is clinging to control. Somebody was disempowered by another person and they're still allowing it. It's time to release this heavy load. It's time to release this karmic baggage. You must take action right now. Know your value. Know your worth. You need to have discipline. The person that you are holding on to does not complete you. You complete you. When you realize that the only person in this world that is going to be with you at the end of your life is you. In reality, you can't take anybody with you. We have the Emperor and the King of Wands reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is angry, upset. No concentration, no focus. Somebody is dealing with an individual who 
is not going to do anything to change the situation. This person's mind is made up. It's time to release. Somebody is going to receive a message that they don't want to hear with this page of swords. And there's not one thing you can do to change it. You can't force anything. You can't force this person to change their direction. You can't force this person to come back. Holding on is only going to weigh you down. It's only going to keep you stuck. It's not worth it. It's time to accept this change and let go. I don't, I don't know who this is for. We have, it appears as though we have a father here. Somebody could, I mean, we have the, we have the emperor reversed, the king of swords, and the king of, a king of uh, wands. We may have a, somebody may be dealing with a father that neglected them and that has caused abandonment issues all the way back, stems all the way back to childhood. Maybe that's what you need to do. Maybe you need to release, you need to release that baggage. Maybe because of those abandonment issues of the past, you have made some poor choices. Always trying to prove yourself, picking somebody that you could prove yourself to, not knowing your worth. Somebody is being haunted. Yes, somebody is being haunted by the past. You have to make the choice to forgive, release, and move on. Now is the time. My advice today is to sever the cords with the past. Because there is a new union here in the future waiting for you. There is no going back. It's time to break free from that situation that wasn't built on love. It's unhealthy. It's toxic. Sever the karmic cords. Break the chains. That's not love. There are some chains that are going to be broken on this day and in the next few days. Be prepared to experience some feelings of anger, some feelings of grief, some feelings of sadness, some feelings of loss, and some feelings of relief. There is a lot of darkness that is being brought up into the, you know, the shadows are being brought to light. Be prepared to experience a, I think it's a myriad, I can't even say the word, it's a, it's a, a bounty of emotions as karmic cords are being cut not only by humans, 
but by a, a power, okay, a universal power. There is a major cleansing going on, and the majority will be affected. Be prepared to hear a message that perhaps somebody has um, departed, okay? Somebody has left, somebody has given up, somebody has walked away, some, something like that. There is going to be a message, somebody's going to receive a message that really isn't what they want to hear, put it that way. But you need to trust and have faith that this is for the highest good. Some sort of uh, partnership is coming to a complete halt. Okay, there's a union that is coming to a complete halt. Somebody has been blocking the truth, blocking the truth. They've been refusing to accept the truth, refusing to accept the truth. But it's over. It's over. It's time to be happy. It's time to celebrate. It's time to live again. So whatever this departure is, it leads to a celebration. It leads to somebody meeting their match. It leads to happiness. If you can only accept. Acceptance is key. So, ties are being severed. I think that this will be a difficult time as we are pushed to realize and accept the things that we do not want to accept. Something is about to go down. And you can't avoid it. And that's what I got. Good luck.